everybody. I've got some news for you. I'm really happy that I got all my uh, vlog stuff done the other night. <clears throat> Actually quite made my day. Did I say the other night? Because I meant last night. <laughs> I'm going to get a little something to eat here. Make a wrap or something. Uh, and, uh... make a little something to eat and go check the comments on that because I've gotten at least one email saying that there was comments so that's cool the one thing I was worried about with the Six Flags thing is that Jess wouldn't have a good time because I didn't know what kind of ride she liked to ride if she liked to ride any and I know she doesn't really like she likes to watch more movies and everything with me but I didn't know how she felt about like being there with that stuff so Especially the clowns. The clowns were the part that I knew would get her, but uh, we stayed away from the clown area. Uh, I mean, during the Freaks Unleashed part, which is what they did. Okay, I'll warn. I'll I'll spoil it for you. They went and they they had a little dancing number, and then they said, "Here comes the freaks." And on the train, they had all like the like the characters, like the clowns and the zombies and the cannibals. And the Jason looking guys and the pig with the chainsaw and all that stuff and the uh, the big giant pumpkin thing that was like 12 feet tall that walked around it's you know it's one of those guys who's controlling his arms with a pole and stuff and they all came up and all this crowd of people and they just kept walking it wasn't dark yet but it was almost dark for the most part and they just started walking through everybody. So no one knew, unless you were watching your back and surroundings at all the time, that there was somebody or something behind you. And if you're looking behind you, you don't know that there's coming from one from in front of you because they were just constantly coming in and out of the crowd. There was no, like, no show in the middle of the crowd. Like, there was at first, but there wasn't later. So that, we saw the clowns there and... One of them got her, but the rest of them weren't really clowny. In fact, one of them I really wish I would have got a picture of. He was, had this really funky thing, and he had blood dripping down his nose, and he had his nose pierced. He almost reminds me of the clown from Zombieland. Um, if I can find a picture, there'll be a picture on the screen of the clown I'm talking about. But uh, a couple of the kids next to us took pictures with him. Like, I know that a lot of a lot of people say that kids now are desensitized to stuff like that. And maybe they're not, but maybe those ones are. Or maybe clowns just don't scare them. Maybe Jason did. Uh, at one point, I did turn around. Like, I, I was... Jess was, like, had, like... I was, like... I don't know what the word is. She had me, like, holding her. She, I, I think she was a little freaked, but she was okay. Uh, and I turned around, like, for a second. She was still looking straight ahead of her. And I turned around, and, like, there was a Jason guy. His chainsaw thing was, like, in my gut. Like, pretty much. So that got me a little bit, but, uh, I just, I really wish I could have filmed, because that would have been cool. I could have filmed some, a little bit more than I did, probably I could have, we could have got away with it, but then you don't enjoy this stuff as much because you're seeing it secondhand, because you're watching it through a camera rather than watching it through your own eyes, like watching it happen in front of you. I think the biggest disappointment was the terror train or whatever it was called, which is how I hurt my foot. By the way, it's feeling better. Um, it's a little sore still, but I'm putting more weight on it and walking around, and I'm not limping as much, so that's good. Well, I finally received a video. Uh, a couple, I don't know how long ago it was. Sorry, um, a while, a little while back, within the past couple weeks, uh, a guy contacted me on Facebook. He added me as a friend and started talking to me um, after I started posting links to my vlogs, um, one of the Facebook groups that I do. And it was probably the newest one I do. But, anyway, he started contacting me and he wanted to make like a... I don't exactly know how to describe it. He wanted to make a video asking me questions about smoking hookah. And then, 
he wanted to make, like, have me make a response video answering his questions. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do it, because I, I, at first I wondered, you know, why someone would want to come to, to, let's say, me for that, because, well, to be honest, my, my hookah channel, or the hookah channel, sorry, it's not mine necessarily, but, uh, me and Ben kind of founded it, and it just, it didn't have that many, that many subscribers, so I didn't think people were into it, but I mean, the videos have got quite a bit of views, but it just didn't have a ton of subscribers yet. Well, I think that I'm going to do it as a way of, uh, boosting our views, I guess, and, and maybe just getting the, the traffic out there and seeing if, uh, if people like what they're doing. I know we plan to bring the, the hookah channel back shortly. Um, like the second week in November we're going to start working on it again maybe. But maybe uh, maybe we sh I should go ahead and go start filming this video. What do you guys think? So we decided to come to Jess's and watch game 6, five. 5, whatever it is. But your battery's almost dead so I'm not going to be able to vlog much while I'm here. In fact you're on the last little sliver. So far it's tied though. That's nice. I'm home now and I've got the vlog that I recorded um, yesterday. The one that should have been up today. or Yeah. Um, it's rendering and it's edited. Blah, blah blah. It's got about 12 minutes left to render and then I gotta upload it. And then I got the clips from all the hookah stuff that I re-recorded today uh, onto my computer so I can take the time to edit that tomorrow. Um, which should be sort of easy. The problem with that is, is the fact that like I spend so much time on the vlogs and then I also have that to edit. I'm bringing that channel back but uh, I haven't gotten to get myself a pair of like uh, really nice comfy headphones yet so I'm still using earbuds and uh, they, they hurt after a while for me so I'm going to have to take breaks during editing but hopefully I get all that edited, uh, edited, did, 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 edited tomorrow um, and I can get the video linked to the person who it's supposed to be linked to because that video well one of the the hookah videos that we shot was a response video um, to a person who wanted to do a video collaboration with us where they could ask us via a video some questions about hookah and uh, we could answer them via a second video so we have to link the video and all that so but uh, it's like 1 a.m. And I'm gonna go to sleep after this is done. So I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you here. Well, remember to keep leave your comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs down if you did, and that's okay too. Share the videos with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already, so you get all my videos, every brand new one in your sub -bo sub box every single day. And remember to check out all the links down there in the doobly doo or the description, whatever you want to call it. And make sure you go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Because I know that a lot of you sometimes are probably like, where's my video? You didn't publish a video. Sometimes they're late. Sometimes, you know, I'll record a video tonight and it's supposed to be out tomorrow, but tomorrow's busy and I can't get it out tomorrow. It ends up very early in the morning the next day. Go follow me on Twitter and you'll find stuff out like that. You don't want to wait to see what's going on it, for the vlog. Maybe something cool happened. Check out my Instagram. There should be links on the channel artwork for my Instagram and my Twitter, and there's also a link in the description for my Twitter. I don't know about Instagram, but I will see you guys tomorrow. If anybody wants to find me, I'll be in the last place you would look in a place where people used to. Be.